purpose of this video is to show you the way to get your trophies back to the United States, saving money with the import brokerage or however you're going to get them back into the country. You can do it yourself. It's just a, a relatively simple process once you know how to do it. So if you're planning on doing a hunt in over into South Africa, or you've already done it and you're trying to figure out how to get your trophies back, this video will show you it is a relatively simple process to get it back. So first thing you need to do is go to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and go to the designated ports and from there you'll be able to see which of the ports are closest to you that you are allowed to import your trophy through and that's where they have the inspection and the services available in order to get your trophies in. You should also get all the estimates and everything that's coming in with your trophies, all the paperwork, the vet inspections, invoices, everything that you're going to need to take into the inspection process and the cargo uh, will come in through an email from your ship and dip provider. Next, get your flight detail information in from your ship and dip service over in South Africa. They should have all the paperwork that comes along with that. You will want to print it out and bring it with you. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife says that they need you to do that in case anything gets missed or they miss something. Uh, but that comes from your ship and dip service. They then give you the flight details of what's coming and you will see the airway bills, bill number right here, which is what you'll use to track your shipment. Uh, they say it normally arrives late. They give you a date and a time, but they probably won't hit that. It's, it's, that's a, an approximate date of when it'll arrive in your designated port. During this phase, you'll track the shipment and contact U.S. Fish and Wildlife when it does arrive. You get about a two or three day grace period where they'll hold it in the warehouse while you have that appointment set up. Then you'll drive to the designated port to meet with U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Call them first to let them know that it's coming in, that you're scheduling the appointment, and it's very easy to work with. As a matter of fact, all the paperwork, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, those, they're good people. They want you to get your cargo. They will help you do the paperwork. In this instance, they did all the paperwork for me. Great people there at the Baltimore uh, port to help you get this done. I know time is money and that's most likely the thing that will cause you to use a broker the most is the time that it takes to drive. I had to take a whole day off in order to drive up to Baltimore in order to pick up my trophies. So that's where you've got to weigh that out for yourself. Time is money. I understand that. I've got my paperwork printed out. I'm here at building F. This is the moment of truth. Going into the front door, go inside the building here and find U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services. And there it is, Suite 1500. Got my appointment and we're going in for the appointment. So now I have cleared U.S. Fish and Wildlife. They had all the paperwork all already done. All I had to do is go in there and give my John Hancock on one form. They kept that, gave me this pack of paperwork to take over to customs. They wouldn't let me video in there for obvious reasons. So now here I am getting ready to go into customs, clear customs. All signed in 
Ring the bell once. <phone rings> Sit down and wait. All right, so we've cleared customs. They put their stamp on it and they said, this is what I need to take over to Delta Cargo across the street and I should be able to get my trophies. Next stop. I'll say this too though, they were definitely touchy about me having a camera in there. I tried to take a picture of the flag and uh, they told me no. Not a good idea in Homeland Security to have a camera. Directly across the street is Building F, that's where U.S. Fish, Wildlife, and Department of Homeland Security Customs is. And directly across the street here is Delta Park. So I'm taking the paperwork that Customs just stacked, stamped off on and uh, taking it into Delta Park. There's the paperwork. Step up to the desk here at Delta Cargo and get this process through. I just need to ID. Coming right up. Mm -hmm. All set. All right, there it is. Yeah. Loaded straight into the back. Straight into the back. Trophy ready to go. That's Dreams it. come true, man. Yes, sir. Thanks. All right, have a go. So, of course, you know I'm going to do an opening of the crate video in just a couple of minutes here. But I got to travel home before I do that. So, there it is. All loaded up. All said and done in my hands at this point. This is probably going to be the second hardest part of the process and that's the three and a half hour drive home I can't wait to get my hands inside that crate get those trophies back in my hands those of you who have gotten trophies know what that feels like that wait months worry other side of the planet planes trains automobile all to get here in the back of my truck. No, mm -hmm. oh, it's gonna be a long drive. Here it comes. Here it comes. You didn't think I was gonna open it up in this video, did you? You're gonna have to subscribe and go to the next video because I can't open it in this video. YouTube wouldn't like to see the trophy animals uh, in this video. I'll go ahead and push it into the next video so that uh, they can go ahead and block all the advertisers over into that one. So go ahead and subscribe. Teach a man to fish. Check out my next video. Well, that's the process. It's not as difficult as you would initially think getting through the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Inspection and the customs process. So I hope this video helped you make an informed decision of whether or not you want to pay somebody else to do that for you, if it's worth your time and money to go up and get them yourself. I'll add one caveat. I didn't bring any of the trophies in that are the disease questionable, difficult trophies to bring in through the inspection process. But again, just contact U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services, and they'll help you. They'll walk you through the process. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, I'd ask you to click and subscribe to my channel. The videos that show here are not all just about hunting. Thank you for taking the time to view. I hope you found the video informative and entertaining. Happy hunting.